Tackling inequality at work is essential to win and gender equality in wider society. But women still earn less than men. At the current rate of progress, the gender pay gap will not close in the EU until 2104. Women are also more likely to work part-time and do more unpaid domestic work and childcare. Local and regional governments are at the forefront of delivering services, like childcare, that create greater equity. But they also need to be fair and equal workplaces for their employees. In 2007, trade unions and employers in local and regional governments came together from across Europe to tackle the issue. These social partners recognised that well-meaning legislation was not enough. Workers and employers needed to play their role. They created guidelines for local authorities on how to identify gender discrimination and then create a gender equality action plan to tackle the issue. In some countries, these action plans are now legally required, but social partners are making them happen all across Europe. And where they have already been effective, we're going further. Social partners in Sweden, for example, are focused on matching skills and experience to pay. Women often work in roles where seniority and training are not reflected in pay rises, making careers less attractive and depriving women of better pay, pensions and work satisfaction. Employers and unions have negotiated new pay scales to make sure seniority and skills are recognised in salaries. Women earn more as time goes on, improving the quality of life and ensuring a good pension for retirement. There is a huge amount still to do to close the pay gap and ensure quality work for both men and women in local and regional government. But social partners will continue our work to make real equality a reality.